how can I go about joining a holy Catholic apostolic church if they're only Protestant and quote unquote Catholic churches around me? So I would uh, I would reach out to someone, a priest, if you you know somebody you've seen or met or even online, and I would start to talk to them about what's available to me in my area. I would eventually make a trip to a nearby priest or monastery and establish a relationship, even if it means I'm only going there once in a blue moon. But there needs to be some personal contact on some level, even if it's very sparse because of the distances. That's how we, 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 the incarnation and the church is in time and space. We have to have a connection to the apostles and their successors and their disciples today. And so I don't think it's a, it's a non-negotiable. Of course, much can be done from a distance. We can read and, and study like we're doing tonight. Uh, you can read the books. You can go. You can make progress. You can start to pray. You can start to, you know, read the lives of the saints. There's tons of things you can do uh, today by God's providence with technology to go deeper into the mind and to start apply practical things in your life, uh, even if you never set foot in or or only set foot in Orthodox Church once a year, for instance, worst case scenario, let's say at least once a year. Um, but you, you know, so that can happen and you can go deeper and you can make progress. You can prepare yourself to a certain degree, but you still need to have a spiritual guide, father, priest, bishop, monk, somebody who's guiding you. And then you're going to cut, you're going to come into contact with them and you're eventually going to be baptized. You know, you're going to have extras and prayers read, catechumen and prayers read. You're going to have all those things read over you and you're going to be baptized, chrismated, communed, married, if you need to be, uh, even if it means you're only going to church once a year, that's still got to happen if we're going to be connected to the church. I don't think there's any way around it. Like, I don't think we can become a cyber church. It's not possible. We're not like Protestants. We actually have communion. Oil is put over us when we're chrismated. We're baptized three times in the water. We, you know, we, we partake in the unction services. These are physical things for our body because we're body and soul and the whole man needs to be saved. We cannot simply dismiss that. It has to happen at some level, at some point. I'm still